Hey kids, it's me, Kit the Explorer, and I've got my buddy Miles here again. Can you say hi, Miles? Hi. Guess what we're exploring today. What are we exploring? Cupcakes. Cupcakes? Well, maybe that's right. Today, we are exploring chemistry. Chemistry is a fascinating science, and one of the most common practices of chemistry is baking. So today, we're gonna bake what are we gonna bake? Cupcakes. Cupcakes. Yummy. Okay, Miles, what do we have here? These are our chemistry ingredients, or our baking ingredients. I think we should mix them up. First, what we're gonna do is take some of this blue powder and put it into that bowl. Would you do that for me, Miles? Ooh, that's so blue. This is oil. Whoa. We're gonna crack an egg. Did you know that eggs come from an animal? What animal do eggs come from, Miles? Animal. What do you think, kids? Hmm, let's think. Do they come from cows? <coughs> no. Do they come from elephants? No. Maybe they come from chickens? Yeah, they come from chickens. The eggs that you buy at the store are unfertilized, which means they can never hatch. We have one, two eggs. Make sure there's no shells in there when you crack an egg and you're baking. If you wanna bake cupcakes at home, ask your parents for some help. Baking is a fun activity for boys and girls of all ages. Look how much fun this little girl is having. And she looks like she knows what she's doing. Yum. Good job, girls. Ooh, whoa, look at that. Next, we're gonna mix some water. Will you pour that water in there, Miles? Mm -hmm. Dump that water. Ooh, yeah, that makes it nice and easy to mix up. That doesn't really look like cupcakes, though. Did you know that in chemistry, Part of what chemists and bakers do is change the physical state of matter. Right now, we have a mixture that's a little bit gooey and a little bit gloopy, and it's not anything that you'd want to eat. But if we add heat to this by putting it in the oven, that'll change things. Let's mix this up some more, and we'll put it in the oven. Now, we're gonna put some cupcake liners into a cupcake pan to put the batter into, and then we'll cook it up. Should we count how many cupcakes we're about to make? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, high five! That means we're about to make a dozen cupcakes. Now we'll pour our batter in. Now it's time for these cupcakes to go into the oven. Can you say oven? Oven is kind of a tough word because of the V. But if your parents help you out, and here's a good tip for you parents, put your kids fingers on your lips when you say the sound V. 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 Do you want to feel? V. 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 Do you want to try that? Uh, uh. Pretty close. Allowing your child to feel the vibrations of the sound V coming from your lips helps them to understand a little bit more where that sound comes from. Let's bake these cupcakes. While our cupcakes are baking in the oven, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix some colors to make a unicorn frosting. I think for the unicorn frosting, we're gonna have white frosting, and pink frosting, and purple frosting. Uh, but, but they're all white. We've gotta mix our own colors. And if you click on the link in the bio, you can see our video on how to make colors from the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. I think that red and a little bit of white will make a pink, 
So we'll put one or two drops in here. This is a nice pink frosting now. In order to make this one purple, there's two colors that we need to mix. Do you remember which ones they are, Miles? Red and blue. I'll put a drop of red in. And Miles can put in a drop of blue. Will you put one drop in? Squeeze it, good job! Now we're gonna mix that all up. Now that we've mixed our colors, we have a nice white, a nice red, and a nice purple. And we're gonna use that to frost our cupcakes. And we've got some nice colorful sprinkles to use to decorate our unicorn cupcakes. Okay, my little chemists, we just got these out of the oven and we put them in the freezer for about half an hour so that they could cool down and be ready to frost. What we're gonna do is we're gonna frost these cupcakes and make them fun to eat. <laughs> Whoa, this is a lot of frosting. Whoa, that's a perfect unicorn swirl. Whoa! Did you know that unicorn cupcakes have the magical power of unicorns? Which means they're the only kind of cake you can eat and make a wish on when it's not your birthday. These unicorn cupcakes are almost done. There's one more essential part that we need in order for these unicorn cupcakes to be done. And that's the unicorn horn. Here are our unicorn horns. One for Miles and one for Kit the Explorer. And since unicorns are magical creatures, we're gonna make a wish on these unicorn horn cupcakes, blow them out, and have a no hands cupcake eating contest. Now let's make a wish and blow them out. Blow, blow, blow. Hard, hard, hard. Harder. Yeah, high five. Okay, now we're gonna take these unicorn horn candles out. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna have a no hands cupcake eating contest. Here's Miles' cupcake. Here's Kit's cupcake. And before we have our contest, we're gonna decorate these with sprinkles. Ooh, that looks good with the purple. And since my cupcake is already a little bit of blue, I'm gonna put some red also, cause those are my colors. Here are the rules, Miles. You can't use your hands to eat your cupcake. You have to eat it like a piggy. Just with your mouth. Ready? On the count of three, we're gonna eat our cupcakes just like a piggy would. One, two, three. Eat it like a piggy. Mmm, you're a clean piggy. Unicorn cupcakes are delicious. Thanks so much for watching Kit the Explorers as we explored baking and chemistry and unicorn cupcakes. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Kit Explorers. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Good bite. We'll eat like civilized gentlemen now. Very complex. Very good. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. mm. oh delicious. These are good, huh? Mm -hmm. These are actually really good cupcakes. Yeah. Your nose is a little too clean. <laughs> and parents, here's one more quick tip related to speech. If you think your child is struggling to speak due to a tongue tie, take a little bit of frosting or honey or peanut butter or whatever their favorite sticky treat is and put it on their lip right there and have them try to lick it off. Can you lick this off of your lips, Miles? Use your tongue. Stick your tongue out like this. Mm. Mm. You can put the frosting or honey or peanut butter on their lip or on the corners of their mouth and the point of the exercise is to get them to strengthen their tongue muscle and experiment and try to get their tongue out and move it around in ways they otherwise wouldn't.